Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This evening's Mass will be offered for Jan uh, Smertelny, and today we celebrate the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter the Apostle. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us strength in time of trial. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You bring healing to the sick and the suffering. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth and peace and be your will. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, we see you our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us. For you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. For Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff, that you give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they replied, Some say, John the Baptist. Others, Elijah. Still others, Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him and replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give to you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind here on earth shall be held bound in heaven, and whatever you loose here on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Although it's Lent, of course, we are celebrating a, one of the major feats of the Catholic Church, Namely, the chair of Peter. One might ask, well, why the chair of Peter? Chair referring to, of course, as the place of authority, the center. That's where, in Latin, the word for chair is cathedra. And we, from, we have the word cathedral. That would be the center or the seat of the bishop of any given diocese. We use that in the secular world as well. We talk about the county seat. The seat is the same as the chair. Again, the center of all official uh, business, and namely, uh, in, in any case, it was going to be a person of great prestige who's in charge of, of everything. So at any rate, back in the fourth century, we find great devotion to St. Peter. At this time, they thought they found the burial place of him, which was held secret because of the persecution of the church. Eventually, when they found the remains of St. Peter, of course, they built a cathedral. And at that time, it would, today, it would be the the Basilica of St. Peter and the Vatican. And we know that that structure had been torn down and damaged by re uh, revolutionaries or rebels or whatever ever have you. And such as the temple in Jerusalem, it was pillaged and torn down so many times and we have, all we have left is a remnant of the, the wall to which people of all faiths flock to pray. But at any rate, uh, today's Gospel talks about Jesus choosing Peter to be the head of the church. One might say, well, why didn't he pick John? John is, St. John's called the Beloved, and he was with Jesus and all the major events of Jesus' life here on earth. But so was St. Peter, Peter and James, and the Gospel for the coming weekend will be that of the Transfiguration, when Peter, James, and John went up the mountain for Jesus, and he revealed to them his, his uh, divinity, a glaring, uh, shining garment wrapped around him, and then finally the Shadow, the cloud that overshadowed them, and they lived in fear, and then they realized that the Lord was with them in good times and in bad. And we have to realize that too, that the Lord is with us in good times and in bad. 
And so often we live in fear, we worry ourselves sick, and we think that there's no hope for us or for those for whom we pray, but the Lord proves otherwise. He takes all evil and turns it into good and gives, helps us to realize that life is worth living and in spite of the crosses we bear, we too will rise with Him when it is our time to go. To go. Now, if you'll stand, please, we'll have our general intercession. As servants, let us approach the Lord with patience, humbly presenting our needs and intentions. Through Pope Francis, who now occupies the chair of Peter, may God continue to bless him and sanctify him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government and civic officials, may the Lord inspire all to a greater servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homeless and all who lack stable housing in the cold winter months, may God provide them safe shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For we who worship and share community here, may the Holy Spirit continue to enkindle in us the fire of His love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, may He soon bring them to everlasting life with all the angels and saints, especially Jan, uh, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special intentions, which we now privately include in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. By the mystery of his, his water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, and the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
as without them we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, glory, 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 Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by the cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Jan Smir Telmi, for whom this Mass is offered, and all our deceased loved ones and parishioners, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially Peter, St. Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the power forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Cut us off for each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ 
bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O oh God, who at our celebration on the Feast of St. Peter, have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ. Grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say my God, God the Archangel, that us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. 
May God forgive you when you pray. And do that with the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts. By the power of God, cast in us out Satan, and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world seeking for the souls. Amen. Have a good night. You too, Father.